Hey guys and gals, it's Mike White with 143 Vinyl. So I'm going to make a quick little tutorial here in Canva about saving designs with the right number of pixels. So bear with me, I'm not experienced in Canva. I'm making tutorials on stuff I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I do understand pixels and I can at least show you that. So, um, you know, how do you, how do you get started? You know, uh, what's the first thing I've, I've clicked on this create a design and I mean, you know, basically you're just looking at this and saying, well, what's a close approximation to what I'm trying to build. And I mean, I think a lot of things are going to fit this document a four portrait. What is a four? So, well, let's go back. I just clicked home instead of file size. So the first thing I want to show you is this resize button over here. So you can start out just with pixels. So before you start drawing anything, you know, you can decide what your size is. And, you know, I like to go with 3600. I like to go 3600 by 3600. I mean, that's just, you know, you don't want to go overkill. I see people do 10,000 by 10,000. I think that's a little extreme. But 3600 by 3600 is 12 inches by 12 inches. It's 12 times 3 is 36. That you need 300 pixels per inch. So if you do 3600 by 3600, you've got 12 inches by 12 inches. So let's just hit resize on that. So there's our square, you know, and if you're doing something that's 12 by 17, well, I can't do that in my head right now. What is that? 34, 40, 4,100 pixels uh, tall. You know, if you were going to make a gang sheet, I recommend just doing your gang sheet in, in 143's layout designer. So I would just start your, your designs 12 by 12. That's, that's that's my recommendation. So I want to upload a file. So I'm going to go to my little folder here where I've got some ready to press designs somewhere. Let me find those real quick. Okay, here we go. And I'm, I'm just going to click on fantasy because it sounds like fun. And oh, I like this design. So I want to upload this design. But before I do, I'm just going to look at it and look at the properties. So I'm going to look at details. Another way you can do this, actually, is you can just pull this open in a browser. You know, you can go to the, to the, can you just do it from here? Probably. Yeah, and then you can just hover over the, uh, the tab. Let me cancel out of this. You can just hover over the tab and it tells you it's 3600 by 3600. That, look at that. So, you know, 3,600 by 3,600, imagine that. All right, so I'm just going to upload a file. And, and, you know, why is that important? I need to look at my original. So I need to look at my original, and I need to know what size it is before I even decide what size I'm going to work in Canva at, you know? So um, I don't know what, maybe you're drawing in Canva, so there might be no reason uh, to even upload something that you've already got sized appropriately. But there's no point in making your Canva drawing larger than your artwork because you don't want to upscale artwork. You want to redraw artwork. You don't upscale anything that's that's rasterized. I mean, a rasterized file is anything that has hard pixels. So rasterization is uh, a raster file is anything that's not vector. So vector being like SVG, EPS, AI, if it's not one of those, if it's a JPEG, if it's a PNG, um, those are raster files. Uh, those are really the only two that are in use anymore. I mean, TIFF is an old format that you'll hear batted around, but it's just, it's really not used these days, except inside like, you know, high, high quality printing, um, you know, high end printers. But most of us are just using PNGs. PNG is the format that you should standardize on um, in 2023. That's my opinion. Unless you're, well, no, I'm not going to get into that. Okay. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I don't need any bigger Canva design than the artwork base that I'm starting with. Like, you know, say I'm pulling this in, I'm going to put some text. Of course, this has already got text. There's magic in the moon. But if well, I would put some text around a design like this, put somebody's name uh, 3,600 by 3,600 fits my artwork. So, um, let's go find that. I know I had already found that, but I'm going to find it again. 
Magic in the Moon. There's my print open. And that should drop onto my stage really nicely. So it's still uploading. I think that's what this little progress bar means. I have these funky cats in, in, in any flavor that you want it. And then I'm just going to drop that on the stage. Well, it didn't drop on it exactly the size, but I know... I don't think you have to hold shift or anything in Canva. It, it constrains the proportions automatically. And it, and it snaps, which is really nice. So I know that, that I'm working with a 3600 pixel design. And, you know, the pixel dimensions of your actual artwork, are, are more. it's more important to also know the quality. You've got to know the pixel dimensions. And so how big can this be printed at? And then you have to think about the quality of those pixels because there's no point in having fuzzy pixels in a design. So if we zoom in on this, um, you can see artwork uh, drawn by yours truly. Oh, you know what? I mean, as I'm bragging, you know, that, that looks a little soft. You know, there's a little bit of pixelization on that on that stallion. Oh, it's a unicorn. And but but you know, you can see overall. All of these details are sharp. So I'm zoomed in. I'm in a browser. I, I'm just trying to find like consistent ways that might be hopefully cross-platform for you to check things. I'm on a desktop. I'm in a browser. Laptop would be the same. Uh, I'm in Google Chrome. I'm on Windows. And when you hit this little plus symbol to zoom in, that's the full width, the full size of your image when you're looking at it like this this quality level is what's going to print and so you know i mean a little bit of fuzziness like this a little bit of you know pixelization that's not a problem but that's that back there that magic part is is that's really strong and and you can even say that this is a little bit out of focus maybe and the focus is on the text you know uh, make up whatever you want but you know, if, if you zoom in like this on your 3600 by 3600 design and it's fuzzy or it's pixelated and you see jagged edges, like if, if these were all jaggy along here and, and, and you're looking at it in the full zoom like this, your image isn't good. You know, I mean, it's not terrible. You know, it's going to print. It's, it's just not going to print full quality. And, and my job is to just make sure everybody understands you know, what their artwork is and what quality it is. Um, that's really important because, you know, if you submit something to us that looks good on your phone when you're not zoomed in, you're zoomed out, it looks good. And then, you know, we print it and you get it and it doesn't look as sharp as you thought it would. You know, I mean, sure, it could be our printer is not acting up. You know, that's possible. But we proof everything that goes out. So that's not likely... It's more likely that it's something with the artwork. Now, the good news is we also proof the artwork on the way in. So when you submit artwork to 143, you can pretty much count these days. This didn't always happen in the past. On somebody like me looking at your artwork and making sure that it's good. So um, that's kind of my role in the company right now is running that digital team and making sure that, you know, we've got remote workers that look at the artwork and make sure that it's ready to print. All right, so I'm making this tutorial because a friend asked me what size to save it as, and she's getting way too much information probably because now she's got all this information about what size to start it at. But when you go to share it and you go to uh, download down here, you've got this slider, and I think it defaults to this 36 by 3600 if that's the size of the document. But if you needed to share it to, to make it bigger, you could like this. Now remember, that's just going to blow up the pixels that you started with. So if you're in Canva and you're drawing, dragging in assets or drawing like text or elements, you know, shapes that are vector, you can scale them up. Uh, if you started with a smaller design, it's, it's probably not going to be a problem. Um, but if you're working with artwork like I'm working with here and it's raster images, that's going to be a problem. So if I type some text and then I scaled it up, Canva is going to output that text crystal clear at the size um, that I specify when I'm when I'm exporting. Um, but it's not it's not going to magically scale the pixels 
of the artwork that's contained inside of it. And so also, you know, just last tip, you know, save as a PNG, check the transparent background. Look, they're even suggesting PNG, you know, so we're, we're on the same page, Canva and I, um, and then download it. So I don't think the compressed file is a good plan. Not, not if you're wanting it to be printed. Hey, I hope this answers your questions about file sizes and pixel dimensions in Canva. Um, as always, order your transfers from 143 Vinyl and have an amazing day. Thanks so much.